Hey guys, welcome to a special Fallout 4 mod tutorial on how to get started with modding in Fallout 4. Now, I will di uh, disclaim this, that I in no way discovered this information myself. It is openly out there, but uh, it, it's the more this is shared, the better, because uh, it, some of you may not already know how to do this. So in Fallout 4, you can't just go ahead and straight up get to modding. You gotta change a couple files. So the first thing you gotta do is, uh, after installing Fallout 4, is you gotta go to Start Documents My Games Fallout 4 and you gotta open up Fallout 4, well you'll see two files, Fallout 4.ini and Fallout 4 prefs.ini and you gotta go in and change a couple things up. So we'll start with Fallout 4.ini and you gotta change a certain line. There's one line which is s resource data ders final equals string slash and you can change this line to include more than just strings. It'll, it'll include a lot of other categories, including textures, music, sound, interface, meshes, programs, materials, LOD settings, vis, miscellaneous, scripts, and shaders FX. This is so that the, the game will actually check all these other categories. But don't worry, you don't have to memorize all that. Uh, the text is in the description down below with written instructions. Just copy paste the text into the fallout4.ini file and in this file you're changing the certain line and save it and you can go ahead and close it. The second file we gotta look at is fallout 4 prefsini and you gotta add a line, well by default anyway. I didn't have this line to begin with. So right at the bottom of the file, where, where it should be, should be the, the launcher section and you gotta add b enable file selection equals one. If you already see the b enable file selection equals zero, just change it to one. And you're gonna add this to the the, the, the launcher section of the Fallout 4 prefs.ini, and then you can go ahead and save the file and you're done. You're basically ready to start modding. Now, of course, uh, the best place I can recommend to get mods is nexusmods.com slash Fallout 4, uh, and they have a Nexus mod manager, which you can download and install, and instead of manually installing mod files, which tend to be like, uh, traditionally it's unzipping uh, mod files into the installation directory, what you can do with the Nexus Mod Manager is that you can download the mods through the Nexus Mod Manager and you can activate and deactivate mods on the fly through this manager. And it will, it will sort out all the installing and deleting of files no problem because it sort of stores the mod files somewhere else so you can easily activate and deactivate. Now it's not perfect, there are certain mods which when you deactivate them they don't fully deactivate properly and of course there are mods out there which are manual install only but this, this should get you started on a modding Fallout 4. Alright, hope you enjoyed and found this video useful and good luck modding and have fun with it. If you'd like to check out another mod, just click the annotation and you'll be taken to a playlist where you can see all the mods I've covered so far. Alright, hope you enjoyed it, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.